All right, so we're talking more about geometric and arithmetic series, and we got two types of problems that we've had a request for. One, the geometric series that is infinite, and two, how do you get the sum of an arithmetic if there's limited information? So let's look at the first one. They give us a wonderful pattern, 7 plus 11 plus 15 plus the dot, 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 plus 43. We don't know what, how many numbers are in between that dot, 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 which is going to create a problem. We do want the sum, so we have the formula right here. Let's plug in what we know. A sub 1 being the first term, I know is 7. A sub n being my last term, I know to be 43. I don't know n, though. So we have limited information. But it's not that you don't have everything you need. We just got to use some prior knowledge. So in order to find n, I have to go back to my sequence formula. You learned that A sub n is found by taking A sub 1 plus n minus 1 times our common difference, d. I do have everything I need to solve for n at this point. You'll notice that a sub n is still 43. Oh, these markers suck. As I said, a sub n is, hey, there it is, 43. Equals a sub 1 still 7. n I do not know is what I'm solving for. Now, the common difference you just got to look at. How do you get from 7 to 11? To 15. Notice there's a consistent pattern here. They add 4 every time. Solve for n. Basic algebra. I'm going to distribute the 4, giving me 4n minus 4 equals 43. From here, we're going to combine like terms. We're going to get a 3 plus 4n equals 43. Bring the 3 over. 40 equals 4n. Therefore, n equals 10. Yay, celebrate. You're not done. Too many times you guys get here and you stop. Congrats, you've done half of it. That's an F. How dare you? Now that I have my information, plug it in. n is 10. Now we can start doing a little celebration. 7 plus 43 is 50. Half of 50 is 25 meaning my final sum of my first 10 terms. It's not S sub n anymore because we know what n is. S sub 10 is 250. So when you start plugging it in, don't get here and go, Mr. Glenn, you're a jerk. You didn't give me everything. You're a jerk. Find it and then plug it in and you can finish it. Some assembly required. Next, these are the actual easiest ones you have. Easiest formula, easiest problems, if you know the formula. If you don't, well, shame on you, your fault. Here we go. We're finding the sum. Notice something. It goes from 3 to infinity and beyond, which means it requires a different formula. It's no longer our geometric series formula. It's an infinite geometric series formula, which is more basic. All this is really, really ugly, but all I need is two things. First term, rate. That's it. Well, if you'll look, my first term this starts at 3, not 1. Starts at 3, which means to find a sub 1, I have to plug 3 in. And now we're evaluating. 3 minus 1 will give me 2. Give me squared. I'm going to end up with 5 times 4 ninths, which gives me 20 ninths. Okay? There's my a sub 1. Plug it in. over 1 minus my ratio. My common ratio is whatever's being raised to the exponent. It is 2 thirds. Still following? When I take 1 minus 2 thirds, I still have the 20 ninths up top, we're going to be left with 1 third. That's ugly. Don't you dare give me that as your final answer. That is a quadruple decker. No. When you're dividing by a fraction, you can multiply by the reciprocal, which gives me 20 over 9 times 3 over 1. You, you leaving me with 20 over 3. That I'll accept. You can give it to me as a mixed number, which would be 6 and 2 thirds. Or you could hit me with the decimal, which would be rounded, 6.67. Any of these three answers would be accepted for the sum of an infinite geometric series. Get it.